So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the DJI Mavic 3 Classic, which is the latest drone from DJI and the pros and cons with this drone after using this drone for several weeks. Now, is it worth it if you have the Mini 3 Pro or the Air 2 S already? And should you be replacing any of those drones with the new Mavic 3 Classic? So today I want to share my experience using the Mavic 3 Classic and why I think there's only one drone that you need regardless of profession, whether you film for you know the professional purposes or if you're a complete beginner and this is your first drone now first of all this is my personal opinion so you might disagree to my opinion and that's completely fine but you might also find yourself in the same boat now first, let's start with the picture quality coming from this drone. The quality coming from the Mavic 3 Classic and its uh, uh, Micro Four Thirds camera, it's the best that I've seen in a drone so far. And it's the first time that I actually have a drone with this type of quality and I've been waiting so long for something like this to appear because the standard and the in the premium uh, line of the Mavic 3 was just out of my range. I didn't want the telephoto lens so I felt it was just something that I paid for that I you know I wasn't gonna use it because I don't zoom with my drone basically. End of story. I don't zoom with my drone and um, for the price, I also think it was a little bit too expensive. This is a little bit cheaper, not much, but a little bit cheaper than the standard version. And for the Mavic 3 Cine Premium, the ProRes 1TB and also the telephoto lens, it's not really something that I need as a content creator. And this is not my full-time job. So just, you know, getting rid of all of those, but still maintaining the crispy, good looking, amazing camera, which this has, is uh, is basically what I was waiting for. But would the average viewer actually spot the difference between the Mavic 3 Classic and the Mini 3 Pro? Well, that depends on where the viewer is watching your video. Most of us, uh, and if I'm gonna take a wild guess now, you're probably watching this on your phone, right? Or your tablet, or your MacBook Air, or something like that, which has a smaller screen. So the smaller the screen is, the harder it's gonna be to see the difference. And if you watch something on a phone, and if you shoot in 1080p or 4K, you can barely spot the difference between the 4K footage and the 1080p footage, especially if you're looking at a phone. So can you actually spot the difference between the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3 Classic. So the sequence I'm about to show you now is shot with the three different drones, the Mavic 3 Classic, the Mini 3 Pro, and the Air 2S. I don't have the Air 2S here anymore. I had to sell that to afford this one, but this is the new flagship. And with the C1 label, I have some mixed feelings, but I'm gonna come back to that later. So the footage I'm about to show you now has been shot with the three different drones. And if you've been following me on Instagram or been a long time watcher here on my channel, you probably know which drone is which. So a little bit of an advantage there if you've been a long time subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that by clicking the subscribe button down below. So here's a quick quality comparison with the three different drones. Now, if you're watching this on, uh, TV or like a big monitor or anything like that, I highly suggest that you also switch over to your cell phone and see if it's harder to see the difference there. And also make sure to set the playback quality to 4K before you start the next sequence. So here's a comparison with the three different drones.
Now, if we put some text on the footage and reveal which is which, were you able to guess the correct drone? If you did, let me know in the comments below what gave it away and how did you manage to see the difference. But for the average viewer, there's not much difference to the eye. Now, even with the lower noise level of the Mavic 3 Classic, it's still louder than the Air 2S and especially the Mini 3 Pro, which is dead silent. And it's gonna be annoying for a lot of people, especially if you film in areas where there's a lot of people and if you're going to popular attractions and so on, you will have people staring through the sky trying to find out what this is. And then after they will be eyeballing everyone around them to see which person is flying the this thing. So for a lot of people it's going to be really annoying if you take something like this uh, to a popular attraction where people just want to relax and have a nice day. So for that reason if, if that's the way that you're going to travel with your drone and it's, if that's the purpose of you getting a drone then I would highly suggest getting a Mini 3 Pro instead because it's dead silent and it does a really really nice job. So the Mavic 3 Classic is not gonna be my number one pick for traveling. And as, you know, despite being a bigger, better and a stronger drone and more stable drone and having, you know, the insane camera here compared to the Mini 3 Pro on paper, uh, this is not gonna be my number one choice for traveling. And I said on paper, and that's because most people are watching the content on their smartphone or a small tablet. So that means the pixels are so small, it's tiny, tiny pixels, and it's gonna be hard to see the difference between these two. So if you're not watching this on your cell phone, go back and check out the comparison, the quality comparison between the three drones and watch it on your cell phone, put it to 4K on the playback and you can see if you can see you can see if you can see, see if you can spot the difference between the three drones. So that's also one of the reasons that this is, you know, my go-to for traveling. It's also extremely quiet, so I'm not gonna have any attention when I'm flying this and, um, you know, it can handle high winds really, really good. Not as good as the Mavic 3 Classic because it is a stronger drone. It has bigger propellers. It's a bigger drone in, in total, but the Mini 3 Pro can also handle some really high winds. I mean, I took this to Hawaii and yeah, no issues at all. So if you wanna check out some of those videos, they will be down in the description below. Now, when it comes to features, it has most of the features we see in the older drones and more. I really like the cruise control and the night mode. It really makes things easier being a solo creator. Especially the night mode is something that I'm really liking on this drone because uh, if you're like me, you go on a trip, you travel somewhere and you want to have some nice footage taken with your drone. And you don't always want to have the day shots and the sunrises and the sunsets, you want to have some night shots as well. And with this, it's really easy to get some high quality night shots by just tapping a button. Now, one of my favorite features to use is Spotlight, and I've been using that quite a lot lately, and it makes it so much easier to get the shot. Now, if you haven't heard of Spotlight, or if you don't know how Spotlight works, it's basically tracking you or the object as a static element, just like Active Track, but you have full control over the sticks and you can go sideways, up and down and get some really nice shots using the spotlight. So it has become one of my favorite and most used features with the Mavic 3 Classic as well as the Mini 3 Pro. I use these now all the time and it's so much easier to get a more stable shot of yourself or any object or building or anything like that. So you basically track yourself and then you choose the direction whether you wanna go left or right. And then you can go up and down with the joystick here and the camera will stay focused on you, tracking you or tracking the object and you can do some additional movements here with the joystick. So it's a really nice feature and I highly suggest that you test it out if this is something that you haven't been using for a while or never tried. So you're definitely gonna get hooked once you test this out. I'm sure of it because it's one of the greatest features of this drone. Now, another thing I really like with the Mavic 3 Classic is the photos coming from this drone. The photos are insane. It takes some really good looking photos with little adjustments to do. So you basically don't have to do any 
color correction or adjustments in post and it's a really nice and fast way to get some really good looking thumbnails and uh, that's one of the things that I really like with this it takes some really nice photos and the photos coming from this is definitely better than the mini 3 pro but you gotta sacrifice something you know you want a bigger better drone or do you want a more silent stealthy drone which does everything you need on your hike it's it's hard it's hard the yeah it's hard now another huge selling point with the mavic 3 classic is of course the battery life that goes for any of the drones the mavic 3 standard classic or the Sena premium 46 minutes of battery life now you're not going to get 46 minutes of battery life you're just not going to get that because that's in optimal conditions tested in uh, dji's own environments and you're not going to get that at all but you will get close to 40 minutes depending on your flying style and 40 minutes in the air as a content creator that's a lot of time that's you know twice what you get from the mini 3 pro and with the mini 3 pro i also felt like i needed to come back home change the battery go out and then film the remaining part of the sequence because one battery wasn't enough now with the mavic 3 classic i didn't have that problem at all i actually had too much so i you know, I ended up just playing around and see how far I could go. So I come to about 39 minutes of flight time for the first flight or the second flight of the Mavic 3 Classic. And that's a lot of time in the air. So if you are someone that really needs a Mavic 3 Classic or any of the other Mavic 3 drones and um, you need some time in the air, then, you know, the battery of this is insane and for most average content creator i think you know having two batteries is more than enough especially with the amount you get with one so a huge selling point with the uh, classic and also one of the biggest pros if you ask me because battery life is really important and the less batteries you have to bring on your trip the better your experience and you know travel in total will be i guess because you don't have to swap out the batteries all the time and it's going to be easier on your back as well in your backpack it's going to be lighter now despite being really awesome and having you know one of the best cameras if not the best camera and all the features you need a uh, long lasting battery life i still keep on getting back to the sound of it the noise level and it's still loud and when I'm out shooting I don't really want the attention and when I've been out filming with this I've actually noticed that I'm getting a lot more attention than I did with the mini 3 pro because they don't hear this I don't hear this but this one I hear everywhere almost everywhere you need to get really high and the more wind there is the less chance it will be that people hear your drone but if it's windless conditions people are gonna hear it you're gonna hear it and you're gonna need to fly really really far away if you don't want to to hear it and if you don't want people to hear it so that's the only issue actually um uh, with um bigger drones because i am all for you know i want to silence the stealthy drone so i can go about my business and and filming so i think the the mavic 3 classic that's the biggest con uh coming from a, a person which only flown like smaller drones the the mavic 2 pro was the biggest drone that i had i didn't use that much so i had to sell it and then i replaced that with I think it was the Air 2S. Also, the Air 2S was quite silent uh, in comparison to the Mavic 3 Classic, but the Mini 3 Pro is by far the best drone. And I keep getting back to that. So my question is that, do I actually need the Mavic 3 Classic? Do I need any other drones than the Mini 3 Pro? And is it really any points, you know, saving this, putting it on the, the wall of fame, the DJI wall, and uh, just keep it there until there's another release um, so I can do a comparison? I don't know if that's worth it. It's a lot of money and I only need the Mini 3 Pro actually. So I don't know. I don't know what to do no idea so the only drone that i actually need is the mini 3 pro and i think a lot of you guys is in the same boat as me on this one like do you actually need something like the mavic 3 classic to get the job done and do you need two different drones for two different purposes or can one drone do the job in my opinion for me personally this is everything i need i 
To be honest, I don't need this. I don't need this at all. It has a much better camera and it has, um, it's a much better drone. It's louder. Well, on paper, on well, in reality, I must say, uh, the Mavic 3 Classic is the best drone. And I wanted the best drone, but I don't need the best drone, so I don't know what to do with the best drone. It's definitely going on the uh, wall, wall of fame, uh, the DJI wall, which I have created. But the Mini 3 Pro is the drone that's you know, it's coming with me everywhere. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the pros and cons between these two drones all day because I made so many different videos on the, uh, especially the Mini 3 Pro. So I have some highlighted videos I will link down in the description. But for me personally, and if I'm gonna give you an advice is to, you know, if you don't have any drones, uh, and if this is gonna be your first drone, definitely get the Mini 3 Pro. And if you already have the Mini 3 Pro, really consider uh, your needs of something like this. I don't need this. I don't really need this. And I'm, I think that this won't be used as much. So it's gonna be dusting away for another year. And I'm gonna do a comparison next year because DJI will probably launch another drone. That's the lifespan of my drones. I buy, I started with one, I'm selling it to keep the, you know, drones coming in because they are expensive, really expensive. So something to consider, do you really need a big drone? If you have the Air 2S, I recommend that you stick to it because you can now also fly with the DJI RC controller, so which makes traveling a lot easier as well. So for these two drones here, I only need one controller. So I need these two and the controller, and that's everything I need to you know, be able to fly them both. So I don't need any additional controllers, which is a huge plus. So if you have the r 2 and um, you wanna change it up, maybe the Mavic 3 Classic is for you. If you want to go down, if you want the stealthy drone and capture amazing videos and have a much easier and better travel experience with your drone, definitely the Mini 3. Pro. So if you know you're gonna use it, then definitely go for that. But if you're unsure, uh, maybe consider your areas of filming and what do you really wanna capture with a drone? Uh, what's the purpose of your flying? Do you need a camera or can you settle with something like the F1.7 lens on the Mini 3 Pro, which is also extremely good in low light. So you, with some additional uh, tweaking in post-production, you might not see the difference in low light between these two drones. Do I regret buying it? Well, yes and no. I mean, I sold my Air 2S uh, to uh, be able to afford the Mavic 3 Classic, so the loss wasn't that big. And I still only have one battery, and I'm a little bit unsure of whether I need too, because it charges really fast as well, and I can charge it through the car and also power bank. And uh, it lasts for f about 40 minutes for my flying style. So I think that is, that is, might be enough. I'm definitely gonna keep it for, for some time, but this is my go-to and has been my go-to ever since I got it. Despite all the new tech coming in, the Mini 3 Pro is the best drone for me. And uh, I could sit here and talk you know, for weeks and try to convince you into buying the Mini 3 Pro, but instead I wanna show you a video which you can check out here. And if you click on that video, you will see why I think this is the best purchase for any person wanting to fly a drone. So with that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.